I don't know about you, but I begin each year thinking about how we can make a better future for ourselves, but also for our children and our grandchildren. And so this year, drawing on my background in restorative justice and a love of history that I got from my mother, I'm offering five different presentations. One is on the Canton Insane Asylum, the Hiawatha Indian Insane Asylum in Canton that was closed due to an unlikely friendship. So that's a story about the power of friendship. Another presentation is on how we restore relationships because we know that forgive and forget does not work. There's much wisdom to be gained from those who teach us from other continents about restorative justice and also the 12 steps. And so that's a presentation where we explore how to create authentic relationships that can move us forward in a healthy way. I'm also intrigued by women's suffrage and have been for a long time. And Anna Howard Shaw was a woman who headed the National Women's Suffrage Association for 12 years and actually built her family's cabin at age 12 in the Michigan wilderness. She has a lot to teach us about perseverance and hope. I'm also offering a presentation about developing teams of leaders and how our differences make us stronger, how we need each other to be able to move forward. And I've used that to turn around multi-million dollar organizations. So it's all road tested and it works in for-profit corporations, but it also works in nonprofits such as churches and community organizations. Finally, I'm offering a presentation on green burial because Mount Pleasant in Sioux Falls was actually the first green burial cemetery site in the upper Midwest. This has been a long-standing tradition in the United States since its founding, and the history of that movement and its goal of preserving the planet and our Earth for generations to come is also a fascinating one. So I invite you into these vignettes, ways to tweak your imagination for the coming year and hope that you will invite any of these stories to your community, either online or in person. I do look forward to spending time with you in 2021.